we back and today we're breaking down film on Jalen Phillips Miami Dolphins edge rusher I was a big fan of him coming out of college I thought he was the number one edge rusher that year last year he improved as the season went on could beat you with speed to power with some nuance understands how to use his hands and as like the season went on he understood the system and scheme better staying in his rush lands which Miami Dolphins really taught especially Brian Flores coming from New England rush lanes were super important in Miami so let's get right into this film breakdown Phillips has your ideal traits as an edge rusher he's a freaky athlete has the size watch the speed to power here at full speed really setting this up wins the low leverage battle gets those hands inside the chest just playing in this almost like wide nine technique um, this is where he really excels let's watch this break this down a little more slowly Really hard excels the speed. You can see him playing low with the pad level. Really gets his arms into it to swing it. Gets those two hands on first before the O lineman. Quick hands right into the chest. Wins this leverage battle. Catches the O lineman off balance right here. And just drives him back into the quarterback. So Wentz could not step up into this throw. And ends up being a good play by Holland making this play middle of the field down on this vertical route but just really impressive stuff from Phillips really like this positioning right here really selling the speed with that first initial step good first step explosiveness off the line of scrimmage gets those hands inside of the chest low leverage knocks him off balance resets those hands gets another light like violent punch there right before he gets to step to the quarterback to really finish and take the alignment and Wentz to the ground at the same time so really good play from Phillips Phillips won with speed to power versus 79 earlier in the game. So this time he's using a little more of a finesse, a little more nuance. Watch his footwork here, setting this up. Stab inside out. Nice like little long arm, create that separation. And then shows off his bend to get to the quarterback. This is the type of stuff that he got to do in college at Miami. They don't really like to use a little more of a finesse game. They like using speed to power, staying in your rush lanes. Just attacking an outside shoulder, trying to turn the alignment. But here he does a good job with his footwork. Gives a hard stab to the inside like he's going to counter inside. Then uses a long arm. Good bend right here. Wins the leverage battle again. Creates the separation. And then rips underneath. Shows off the bend to corner to Wentz. And then force an early throw. And for Wentz to try to escape the pocket. Just really good stuff here. Showing off the nuance. Basically stab to the outside. Stab back to the inside. Hands on. Good job using a long arm like that. Creates that separation and bends to the quarterback. Dolphins ran a little cover zero looks. Made Phillips stand up, move around the line of scrimmage. Like this versatility here. This play really shows off his motor. Knifing to the inside, rips. Lamar forces him to move out of the pocket, but doesn't give up on the play. And finishes on Lamar like that. Really good job ripping underneath. Doesn't allow 78 to get a clean hands to the chest on him. Forces Lamar to try to move out of the side of the pocket. With all this pressure on him, keeps working, finds the sack, finishes this play. Really good stuff from Phillips. Positional versatility is very important. This time, hand of the dirt, lined up in like a three tech, maybe four eye, depending on how you look at it. But just working like twists and stunts as the season went on. See him set this up, allows this to open up, and then really good job ripping through, just finishing with that rip. Really good stuff from Phillips. Allows him, uh, Butler right there, to be his penetrator, and he loops around here. Stays tight to take a good angle to the quarterback. Gets low, shows off some bend, some lower body flexion, some core strength. Working through this block. He does a really good job of keeping his chest clean. When he cheaps, keeps his chest clean and can just rip under O-Lyman. He stays really low and maintains his speed and power while staying low. It's really impressive. One of the, his my favorite play traits from Phillips. And then gets underneath, rips, finishes the quarterback for the sack. Really good stuff from Phillips. Phillips today. Bit of a quicker breakdown, but I was a big fan of how he progressed last season. As the season went on, he only got better and better. Um, a lot of his sacks were kind of just coverage sacks, but it was more of him maintaining his pass rush lane and then not giving up on the quarterback, escaping the pocket or turning into him. So, like, good stuff, staying disciplined. That's hard to do as a rookie, especially when at Miami, uh, the Hurricanes last season. He is more of a finesse rusher, allowed to do what he wants, take chances, try to win with his nuance, his technique, instead of winning with discipline uh, and staying in your lane the entire time, which they preach more on the Dolphins 
uh, in their New England-like system. But yeah, really enjoyed watching his film, especially later in the season. But yeah, really good stuff from Jalen Phillips. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.